Hello, this is Maria. Welcome back to Aviation Ground School. Today we're taking a bit of a departure from our normal maintenance and flying content to discuss something that's quite related, which is the Apple Watch, specifically the GMT face. We've found several glitches and issues in this face, especially as they pertain to pilots switching on and off from GMT to local time. All right, here I have two iPhone 10s. This one is running on software version 14.0, this one on 14.2. This is the most recent software update. I also have the two Apple Watches that sync to these. This is an Apple Watch 6 synced to this one. On the most recent software update, this is an Apple Watch 4 on one version behind. This is to show you that it's not a software problem. This is universal among the GMT face. Speaking of the GMT face, here it is, and it's modeled after the GMT Rolex. It's a fairly new design. We're very happy to have it, but there are some glitches. Both of these phones are currently set automatically to a time zone based on location. Uh, if I turn this one off, it's been auto-selected that the time zone it will go to is GMT, Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, this one, I haven't yet set that. Let me show you this. Now, something interesting about this, although GMT is the same as UTC, uh, if you search GMT, you won't find anything in this menu. You have to search UTC and click that. Okay, so now my base time has been set to GMT here for both of these. So if I turn it on to location finding, it'll take you to Cupertino, West Coast time. If I turn it off, it'll put you on GMT. So now I'm gonna show you what happens when you toggle this switch. So right now, this watch is set to this phone. You'll notice this watch, which is on the GMT face, is entirely frozen and unusable, which is set to this phone. So pertaining to this one right now, if I turn this on so that it's finding my there we go, look, it changed automatically to West Coast time as soon as I turned on the location sensing time zone. If I turn it off, it automatically turns to GMT. Now this is a digital face. If I go to a analog face with some hands here, it's a little bit slower. I toggle it on, it takes a moment, but those hands will pretty soon here find their way, there you go, to um, the local time here on the West Coast. And if I turn it off, they will find their way already back to GMT. What we're at right now is this frozen face. Um, there's nothing I can do to make this watch respond. There's no amount of swiping, pushing the crown, pushing the power button. Normally pressing and holding the power button like this would generate a ability to turn off the watch. That's not happening. And you'll see here's the phone that it's linked to. No toggling of the time zone to a location based or just to GMT is going to change that. That is frozen. Here we go. This is now restarting itself. I didn't do anything to touch this. It's just deciding to start restarting itself. So let me take this off from my digital face, which you see syncs up really quickly to whatever time zone I select and put it onto GMT face. So the normal GMT face works pretty well. You're able to use this light touch of the crown to move it onto different time zones and it tells you the time in the analog hand. So it is the nature of this problem that it's difficult to capture on camera because it's just a matter of you toggle this back a few times and then you end up with this. So we have both watches that were formerly on the GMT face, both phones that are supposed to be set to the location-based time zone, and yet one of them is in this loading screen that we can't get off of. You can move out to your main page of apps, but as far as your home screen, that's set. And this one that is set at some very high negative number blocked by the hands, but negative some tens of thousands of hours. Um, now, if I turn both of these back to GMT, you saw those hands switched. This did not move. If we turn them back onto location-based, nothing changes. So in summation, we have now been working with these watch faces for just under 10 minutes, and we are stuck with two unusable watches. This one is going in and out of being completely frozen, um, and this one has this loading face. Although that tiny face does show the correct time, um, there's really no getting out of it uh, to show a proper watch face. So we are going to try pressing and holding the power button, which would normally, there we go. So I can just shut us off now, but that seems to be the only way to get out of it. There was no way to do that within the watch, so we're just gonna restart that. This one, uh, when it does get frozen, just forces you to restart. Uh, it'll do a restart actually on its own and continue a cycle of that until you get it off the GMT face and then can change your time zones from there. Uh, so two watches, a four and a six, two different levels of software updates. Uh, we'd really like for this face to be able to work, but there's several problems.